know if it's talking better than Chris is, and then we got three different stats to say something, but um, uh, my name is Dave Spatrino. I am uh, I'm a downtown guy. I'm um, not really an artist in my head. I'm fantastically creative. But in, in real life, I just get to do cool stuff that other people create and kind of put it in motion as a builder here downtown and around the area. Um, and, and as a chair of this year of Wilmington Downtown, which is, which is exciting, I'm also going to speak a little bit from a personal standpoint. Uh, like Chris said, you know, in a lot of cases, it really does come down to uh, following the money. Nothing really happens in my world unless something gets sold. So no matter how good I am or how great my ideas are, I can't really get anything into motion until I can encourage somebody else to follow my lead. Um, so I'll start off with something uh, from around the world. We all know, we can all agree, that some of the greatest cities have the greatest art. So you're going to go home tonight, you're going to lie in bed, and you're going to ask yourself, which came first, the city or the artist? Think about it. Well, which was it? I mean, if, if it was the artist that made the city great, or was it the city that made the artist great? As somebody who likes the city, don't really care. I don't want to know how you don't know. But I think we all can agree that artists typically rely on places to create inspiration. And for as long as I can recall, uh, downtowns everywhere have been a place for people to put their passion in motion. Now, I have toyed with this, and because I have such great aspirations of Chris Boney, I'm going to relay to you something that I have said many, many times with, with great affection. So as Shelby Stevens is back there, fiercely writing down all my quotes, I would always say forever, Dave, why did you, people say, Dave, why did you choose downtown? And I said, I love it because that's where all the freaks are. I just love downtown. I mean, and inside me, I like it too because I'm a little bit of a freak. Of course I am. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. So, and I mean, I say that with affection, Shelby Stevens, uh, just to make sure I can talk But downtown nor arts community can thrive without one another. Uh, working together creates a competitive advantage for both the artist as well as our entire community. The opportunity to create a collaboration of artists to encourage their diversity and to, collect, and to support their collective success is not only paramount, but it should not be something we take lightly. An Arts Council provides the elegant organization, I mean, think about it, the elegant organization necessary to guide all stakeholders toward successful vision. Will art continue without an Arts Council? Of course it will. But in the, is the long-term success of our entire community worth the risk of not doing so? More importantly, does it want me to deserve? Does it deserve every advantage available as we work toward becoming one of the greatest places we can live? Now, I can say with authority that artists provide beauty, character, and interest to our downtown. However, without a strong network in place to support our creative agents, and that's what I call them, our creative agents, we run the risk of failure. Now, as I look around this room and I see I'm surrounded by art. I'm surrounded by characters, or freaks, or whatever we want to call ourselves. We're surrounded. And I'm reminded that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Some stuff in this room, I really like. Some stuff, not so much. But that's okay, because all design, whether in architecture, or buildings, or sculptures, or the things we even see here, still, there is some connectivity. That connectivity that encourages residents, workers, and guests alike to take notice and feel a sense of ownership, but more specifically, connection with their space here. Now, something I'm going to share with you, and, and again, think about, I'm, folk, I'm a business person. I like to create and do things, but I like there to be a paycheck at the end of the week. But I will, I will warn you, and this is something that's very frightening. And, and I don't know how to, you can take this however you want to, but recognize one thing. And, and I can tell you this all over our country. When a place gets boring, even the rich people leave. That is something that should scare you more than anything else, because even the artist will say, I'm a great artist, but without a benefactor, you know, or without someone showing my appreciation, I'm nothing. Dave Nathan, should join us? <laughs> See, residents, as well as business, businesses, move to downtown for a number of reasons. And while art may not always be the very tippy top of their list, it's always in the top five. Every time, well, I'm attracted to the arts and the entertainment, or they say culture. It doesn't matter. It's still something where we know that people want to live and work someplace interesting. They want to be part of something great, or more directly, they want to find themselves in someplace special. Now, at our core, we are all creative people. We want to be inspired regardless of our occupation. 
And I, I, I say that because I mean it in the sense that I am not somebody who can stand here and paint. But I am somebody who is appreciative of being around the creativity, and it, it, encourage me, it encourages me to think through my own ways of doing something in my own occupation or my own trade. Now, in closing, I'm going to use this analogy, and I'm really speaking to some of our other deficiencies here in the river, Catlin and Burger. And um, I, I really, uh, I really, I want to make sure that, especially as newly elected, one of the one of the things that, as a leader, it, sometimes there's the fear or the embarrassment of leading. And so, in my household, I'm supposed to be the leader. I have two children, and, and, and in my world, I think in a lot of ways. I believe the founding of the Arts Council is much like good parenting. Our community should take care of the basic needs, but we should not become the caretaker. We should provide just enough basis and just enough <clears throat> encouragement in those formative years to set something in motion for the long term. Now, our leaders have the opportunity to provide a good base for an Arts Council, helping to establish those roots and allowing them to find ways. Starting a legacy that lives on well past their tenure. And so I encourage all of you to find your own creative peace and then find a way to share those, those visions. Thank you very much. Thank you.